All right, it is the new year. That means time to do maintenance. And I don't know about you guys, but the, the daily drivers are the ones that tend to be neglected, at least for the way I work, that is. Uh, like the classics, I mean, I, I keep up with maintenance on that, but we're gonna give it an oil change. You know, this has a little bit of an oil leak on the valve covers. Uh, I've seen it ever since I bought it, so probably gonna order a set of those and do those later. But for now, we gotta do an oil change. Um, it is definitely well past due. So let's crawl under there. I already took the belly pan off. Normally you won't have to, but I think this is the wrong belly pan for this car. Let's get under the car. Let's change the oil. So under the car, the engine is warm. Uh, not blazing hot, but it's warm, so the oil is going to fall, fall out nicely. On the back here is the 17 millimeter. Uh, put a socket on, got my drain pan under. Let's crack it loose. Okay, it's on there pretty good, so bringing out the breaker bar. I don't know why, but every car I own, the drain bolt is always on there real good. Okay. Broke it. While that's drip draining, we'll take a look under here. Here you can see just caked on oil on top of the oil filter uh, housing. So here it would be like the cartridge housing. This is wet, but you see oil down here. But if we make our way up, we'll see every, there's like trails of oil that drips down. And if you, you could see the caked oil here, and then it's dripping down to wet oil here and we saw the wet oil on top of the valve cover. So that's how we know it's a valve cover leak that's just dripping down. It's not like a rear main seal or leaking out of this oil filter housing. Um, you know, it could be, but because this is caked oil, not wet, it makes me think it's all coming up from up top. And before we move to the oil filter, we'll tighten the drain bolt. So I just got it hand tight. Now I'm gonna tighten it with my ratchet. I'll show you how tight it needs to be so this is my long ratchet. I think it's 18 inches, maybe. Um, so all I'm gonna do is just gonna grip on the end. I'm just gonna give it one nice tug. And one more, just for safety. There we go. So that right there is about 30 foot pounds. That's not going anywhere. Okay, so there's an Allen head here that you can use to pull the plug out, drain the oil. Um, apparently it's a metric. <laughs> and I just bought a set of SAE Allens and I don't know where my metric ones are, so. We're just gonna pull this cartridge off, uh, the cartridge housing. Just gonna use these pliers. Now, I, I did loosen it before I started this to make sure I could get it done with this tool. But yeah, just these basic oil filter wrench pliers. I've used this for all my oil changes um, except for one time with that Dakota truck I had where I had to use a screwdriver and a hammer to remove the filter. But everything else I've used this. Been lucky and haven't had to buy uh, the an actual oil filter tool other than this wrench. This wrench has been my universal one. Alright, we're about to make a mess. I use my hand, yep. Okay. So there's an O-ring in here. I didn't even check the new one. Yep, warm oil feels nice on your hand. But that's why I'm wearing gloves. So here is the cartridge. It just pulls right out. Maybe twist a little. And there we go. So we'll just clean this up a little bit and then shove the new one in. Now this does have an O-ring in here that the new filter comes with, so we want to replace it. So just stabbing a pick in here and I'm going to pry it out. Just like that. There's the old one. And here's the new O-ring. And then it also comes with this, but I guess this is for some other cars, like I heard Volkswagen use this. Alright, so we want to get a little oil on here, so I'm just going to 
take some of that old uh, oil, put it on here, and now we just want to fit onto the groove in here. Also want to make sure there's no dirt or anything in that groove, but there we go. So if there's any filter, we'll put the letter side down, just because that's the way the old one was, and just give it a little press, but there we go. So now when we tighten it, it's going to lock in place and it won't go anywhere. You don't have to worry about bouncing around, that's normal. Okay, so I filled the cartridge housing up with oil just a little bit. Oh, let me wipe this down first. I'll clean the threads up just a little bit. Okay, so now that's clean, we'll just throw this on. The o-ring is a little wavy just from the packaging, but as we tighten it, it will straighten out and then do its the j job. So we'll be able to tighten this just by hand, but because it's a cartridge style, I'm going to use my wrench to tighten it just a little bit. But we'll just go as tight as I can by hand. tight in some spots because of that wavy o-ring, but it's clearing up. Okay, that's pretty tight. Now we'll just go just a little more with this, just to be extra safe. Okay, that's on there tight not crazy tight but it's on there good uh, we got the drain plug torqued everything's good um, I'm gonna take this moment just to wipe a little bit of oil off but let's start pouring some oil in. filled it up with the oil started it checking it one more time and there we are just under a quarter this Ford dipstick is the worst design ever and this design was also used with like the Volkswagen Beetles it's horrible, hard to read, especially when there's clean oil in it. This engine calls for four and a half quarts, so did just over that, and we're just below the fill line, so. Well, that's gonna be it for this. Uh, still have a few other things to look into on this car, um, like the ambient temperature sensor is bad. Need to figure out where that is. I'm gonna replace that. Uh, and then we're losing coolant every, like, Every month we have to check it and add just a little bit, so it's not a not a fast leak, but it's a little bit. So I got to track that down, and then also the oil leak in the valve covers. But other than that, this car's been good. Um, we do need alignment. I was gonna rotate the tires, but it wouldn't make sense. They they would just wear out the same. So gonna have to get an alignment done. But that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.